Welcome back to Inside Hollywood. We're going to look at 10 celebs who reportedly killed someone today. For this list, we'll focus on well-known people who have been found guilty of intentionally or unintentionally killing one or more people. We'll also list those famous people who, in light of the evidence, are widely thought to have killed someone or have been charged with helping to commit a homicide. Which of these entries surprise you the most? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Om Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg was detained for his role in Philip Waldemarium's murder in 1993. The two already had a history of animosity on the day of the incident. Walter Merriam allegedly threatened the musician before his bodyguard McKinley Lee opened fire on the assailant. Snoop Dogg was accused of being an accomplice to the crime and first-degree murder because it is said that he was operating the vehicle when Lee fired the fatal shot. The two retained renowned celebrity attorney Johnny Cochran to assist in their defense. Snoop and Lee were acquitted of the murder charges during the approximately four-month trial. 2. Caitlyn Jenner Olympic gold winner Caitlyn Jenner, a reality TV celebrity, made headlines in 2015 for a grim occasion. She was in a horrific collision while operating her Cadillac SUV. A Prius that had stopped abruptly was struck by a vehicle being driven by Kimberly Howe. Howe's car was sent into the path of a Hummer when Jenna's vehicle struck hers a short time later. This second incident proved to be fatal. Sadly, she passed away there. Jenna was unharmed and was found not guilty by the authorities. With the victim's relatives, she instead agrees to a civil case settlement. 3. Don King One of the most well-known boxing promoters of all time, King is known for his outrageous hairstyle and theatrical demeanor. He was convicted of at least two murders in court and accused of having ties to organized crime and facing other legal challenges. The first was Killary Brown, who King killed in 1954 in a justified homicide after trying to rob one of his gambling houses. Sam Garrett, a former employee of King who owed him money, was killed by a beating 13 years later, and King was found responsible. On a non-negligent manslaughter accusation, he served four years in prison before being pardoned. Before, Vince Neil. Vince Neil was an elite vocalist for Motley Crue, a heavy metal band that achieved popularity in the late 1980s. He was involved in a heart-wrecking car accident during the band's greatest fame in the middle of the 1980s. The musician and Hanoi Rocks drummer Nicholas Dingley went to a local booze store that evening while the driver was driving under the influence. In the end, Neil struck another vehicle head-on. While Dingley was killed in the collision, the other two passengers in that automobile suffered severe injuries. Although Neil was hurt as well, he made a full recovery. Neil was charged with vehicular manslaughter in the death of Dingley and was given a 30-day jail term that he served for 15 days. 5. Keith Moon Keith Moon, the drummer for The Who, went out with his wife and his friend Neil Boland on January 4, 1970, at the Red Lion Pub in Hatfield, Hertfordshire. A rowdy crowd of customers accosted the trio as they were leaving the bar, forcing the drummer and his wife to flee into a car. Moon, drunk, tried to maneuver the car out of the awful predicament. Unluckily, he wound up colliding with Boland while doing so. Moon was ultimately acquitted of all accusations after the death was determined to be an accident, However, the experience is said to have affected him greatly in the following years. 6. Johnny Lewis As Kip Hassack Epps on the XS series Sons of Anarchy, Johnny Lewis rose to prominence in the late 2000s. The Los Angeles-born actor had severe brain injuries in a motorbike accident in 2011 that also injured another motorcyclist. Lewis started acting strangely after the accident and made numerous arrests within a year. As a result, on September 26, 2012, sad events occurred. Lewis was accused of killing his 81-year-old landlady in an attack. After committing this crime, he was discovered dead in his landlady's driveway. Even though the specifics of what occurred that day are still unclear, it was tragic. 7. Aaron Hernandez The New England Patriots' tight end Aaron Hernandez was a star in the NFL, but his career ended less than a year after the team extended his contract. Odin Lloyd, a buddy of Hernandez who had died from gunshot wounds in 2013, was hauled in for interrogation by authorities as soon as they learned about his death. Hernandez was found guilty and given a life sentence without the possibility of parole after the answer in trial. He was also tried for killing Daniel de Abreu and Sefiro Fortado but was not found guilty. In 2017, Hernandez committed suicide in his cell. 8. Charles S. Dutton Charles S. Dutton, an Emmy-winning actor and director best known for his lead role in the Fox sitcom Rock, became famous in the 1990s. He also had supporting roles in popular movies like Alien 3 and Menace to Society. Dutton took up boxing and started competing in amateur rings years before transitioning to the glamorous life. He got into trouble as a teenager when he killed a man with a knife during a brawl in 1967. Dutton pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was given a five-year prison sentence, although he maintained that he was only acting in self-defense after the man assaulted him with a knife. 9. Randy Norwood 
Brandi Norwood, a singer and actress who has won a Grammy participated as one of the judges on America's Got Talent in 2006. Due to a vast traumatic occurrence, she was a part of that year. Brandy decided not to return for the second season after a great first outing. During a multiple vehicle crash on the 405 freeway in Los Angeles, Brandy's car hit another vehicle's rear bumper. After being brought to the hospital, the driver died from her wounds. The family of a booty ad sued Brandy, but she settled the matter out of court despite not being detained or charged with the accident. 10. Scott Hall a very popular wrestler who wrestled professionally for more than 30 years was Scott Hall of the WWE, who you might know better than Razor Ramon. The death of a man in Orlando, Florida was the subject of a second-degree murder indictment against Hall in 1983 before his career took off. Hall shot the victim after they got into a brawl outside a bar. Although that could have quickly terminated his career before it even began, the aspiring wrestler argued that he acted in self-defense. The accusations were dropped after an investigation, but interviews with Hall revealed that he had been haunted by the recollection of this troubling time all his life. Guys, that's all for today. If you want to see similar videos, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Press the bell icon so that you can catch all upcoming videos.